Fortnite just added the brand new gyro settings to controller. Is it a gimmick or will pro players actually pick this up? Today, we're gonna put it to the test. All right, as you can see, we're in Fortnite and we do have the hand cam set up. In this video, I'm not just gonna be explaining the settings, I'm gonna be putting them to the test in Creative Battle Lab, as well as a solo game in Battle Royale. I feel like these gyro settings have huge potential and I wanna show you guys exactly why. So let's load up Creative and try these gyro settings. So to get to these new gyro settings you just want to go settings and then go over to the new tab which is called touch and motion here is where you have a whole bunch of gyro settings but apparently gyro only works for ps4 and ps5 controllers so uh yeah <coughs> But for the default settings, it only enables when you aim down sight, as you can see, as well as when you're editing. So as you can see, I can literally edit with gyro. This basically allows controller players to do like crazy keyboard and mouse movements, which I feel like might be useful, but let's dive into some more settings. These settings may seem confusing, but let me simplify them for you. So there's two settings called active mode combat and active mode building. And basically what these two settings mean is that there's a gyro for when you're just playing the game and when you're aiming and shooting. And there's also a gyro for when you're building and editing. So if I have always on both of them, that means literally every single thing in the game, no matter if I'm playing, aiming, shooting, building as well, I'm literally gonna be building in gyro. So you definitely probably don't want this setting on. I really don't think any pro players are gonna be looking at having these settings always on. But I just thought I'd show you guys what they're like. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to the settings which I think are best. So for this combat gyro, I'll probably have that on scope and aiming. I don't wanna use gyro for editing and I definitely don't wanna use it for building. So everyone's probably gonna keep that setting on none. Now we're gonna be looking at some more gyro settings in just a minute, but let's try out the gyro setting for scope or aiming, which is this gyro setting right here, because honestly, I feel like that's going to be the most useful. And what better map to try it on than Enigma's brand new aim trainer? Now this thing actually hasn't even released yet, so I probably shouldn't give you guys a code, but I'm going to leave it in the description anyway. Trust me, let me show you what it's about. This map is actually crazy. It's got 12 different game modes, so let's go on to Tile Frenzy, and I feel like this is going to be the perfect map to try out the new gyro aiming. So if you can look at my controller, gyro doesn't work until I aim down sight and I can shoot these little balls just like Kovacs and bro I'm not even using the analog stick as you can see this is so insane wow man and if I turn gyro off let's see how much worse I am with it off and you can definitely see the difference it's a lot slower and a lot stiffer with the analog stick compared to gyro let's go ahead and turn gyro back on and now back to gyro it's actually crazy, bro. Like, this is so fun. Ooh, let's try out shotgun headshots. All right, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to, but gyro definitely helps with those smaller movements. Oh my. So I'm using the analog stick to do the big movements from player to player, but then I'm using gyro to do the small little micro movements to line up the headshot. This is honestly crazy. Like, I'm so excited for this, man. This might just be the new meta. This is crazy. So once again, I can use the analog stick to line up the chicken and then I can do those slight little movements with gyro. And I can also control the recoil with gyro. So as the gun's spraying upwards, I can actually bring my controller downwards and control the recoil. Tracking on gyro is so fun. I feel like I'm actually doing pretty good for day one on gyro, man. Look at me go, bro. This is actually crazy. And this is with no aim assist whatsoever. But before we jump into a sweaty solo game, I'm just going to try it in creative first. All right, see you later, dude. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm going to be the gyro king in a minute. Look at this guy. Do you even use gyro, bro? Lamau. All right, off to a good start. I'm gonna kill him with gyro. <gasps> Bro, this feels so weird. Oh, this guy thinks he's good. Don't mess with the gyro king. Double kill, let's go. <gasps> with the gyro as well, look at that, bro. There's no way. What's... Going in for the gyro snipe. Ooh, 
let's go, bro. This is so fun. Out the way, gyro incoming. Out the way, gyro incoming. Out the way, gyro incoming. Alright, and it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Time to try Gyro in a solo game. I'm not necessarily after a win, I'm just after some really good beams with the new Gyro setting. And as you can see, I'll show you, I do have the setting on. So when I aim down sight, you'll be able to see me use the analog stick, but also be able to use Gyro. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go, bro. What? Also, guys, while I have the hand cam set up, you can actually see how I play Claw. And I'll make a video on that very soon if you want me to. Just let me know down in the comments. No. Okay, first game on. Let's try again. The gyro grenades. What? Ooh, let's go. Don't mess with the gyro. Oh, it's so fun beaming cars with gyro, man. Oh, let's go. Got him. Wait, is that a player? What the? What? It's actually a player. And we got each other. No way. What in the... <laughs> that was so lucky bro, let's go. So one thing I just realized is that when you have gyro on, it actually turns off aim assist. So I kind of take back everything I said, this is probably not worth losing aim assist for. But now that I have a stacked loadout, let's try and win without aim assist. Ooh, I, could, I just controlled the recoil with gyro, that was so cool. Oh, of course, spray meta. All good, GG's, man. Well, I think I did pretty good with gyro. Didn't quite get the win. I definitely think you guys should try this setting out for yourself and let me know what you think. In conclusion, it's actually really fun using it, but I don't think it's gonna be that practical, especially since you lose aim assist. But if you guys did enjoy this video with the hand cam, leave a like and let me know if you wanna see more controller settings videos. It's been a while since I made one of these, but I thought I'd cover the gyro update because it was huge. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.